Hello. At long last, I took a brief hiatus um, since I went back to work following my neck surgery. So this is been something that's been on my mind for quite a while. Um, I finally got some Ovitrol, um, which is the ex supposed to be the exact same product as Pled Flotrol. Um, and that is actually what I'm testing today. So um, with the Vallejo acrylics, fluid acrylics, um, the colors that I am testing are Thalo Green, which is opaque, Thalo Blue, which is semi-transparent, and titanium white, which is opaque. So, without further ado, I am going to measure these with Anne Marie Ritterhoff's um, recipe. She uses four to one on the Ovitrol, and it's supposed to be the same for Flood, but I think that there is a um, thickness difference between these two and we'll see that as I open them and pour them for the first time. To make this completely fair, this is my well-loved bottle of Floatron, which doesn't have hardly any in it. Um, so to make this fair, I am using a brand new bottle of Flood and a brand new bottle of Olutrol, neither of which I have opened yet. So um, that is what is happening right now and we'll see how this goes. So what I'm doing, I have my um, scale set to grams, so I will do one to two grams depending on how I feel um, and how much paint I actually want to mix. So um, I will. my plan is to use either one gram of paint to four grams of Floetrol or two grams of paint to eight grams of Floetrol. So we'll, we'll see how that goes, um, depending on how much paint I wanna actually make. Um, I'm leaning more towards the, the two to eight, which is still one to four ratio, um, so we'll see. And I'm gonna quit babbling. I'm gonna shake up both flow trolls. And I'm gonna try and keep my sleeves out of this mess. Hopefully I have enough light here. Uh, FYI, the, the price difference. Floetrol, this bottle of Floetrol is like like eleven ninety seven at um, Home Depot or what did I get this one at Lowe's? I don't remember, but it's around twelve dollars for a gallon of Floetrol, which is um, close to four liters of um, in European measurements. So one gallon. It's actually 3.78 um, liters, and this, is, so one gallon or roughly four liters of Floetrol, Flood Floetrol in the U.S. is roughly about $12. This, on the other hand, to get Ovitrol, um, you can buy it on Amazon. Uh, they were out, um, out of stock online when... I ordered this, and so I ordered this straight from Ov Ovitrol. Um, I don't even remember. It's Ovitrol Coatings um, out of Florida, and the price was the same. This was fifteen dollars U.S. Um, plus shipping, and I want to say the shipping was like five dollars. So you're looking at twenty dollars for one liter versus twelve dollars for four liters, or almost four liters. So, fingers crossed, let's see if Ovitrol is worth getting. Now, I the reason I'm doing this is because I have invested a lot of um, money in buying the acrylic, the Vallejo acrylics, because I, I really like them. I like the pigment um, in them. Uh, I think they're absolutely beautiful colors. And um, I actually, I have almost every single color. So um, this is why I am in search of trying to figure out if purchasing Ovitrol at three times or four times the amount is um, beneficial 
to the workability of the Vallejo, with the Vallejo paints. Um, if there isn't a difference or I can't decide, I can't make a, a decision on whether this is beneficial enough or cost effective enough to purchase, um, I will go back to my pouring medium, which is actually very similar to Anne Marie's too. So um, let me get my paint stickies out of here. This is just waste off of my uh, mixing station. This is where I mix um, and I'll move it over to where I pour after I get everything mixed together. Um, so let's get started. I'm probably going to put this on double speed um, just so you don't have to listen to me ramble um, without any sound. I may throw some music in there. We'll see when I edit. But um, this right now is just strictly measuring. Um, it's one to four ratio. Um, what I'm probably going to do is two to eight, um, two grams of paint to eight grams of um, flow trough. And to keep this fair, I'm going to do gram for gram um, on these. I'm not going to um, waver from that. Um, I may do just one gram of paint to four grams of flow trough for this one because um, I believe that this is going to be thinner than the Ovatrolics. So let me tear this and even just shaking it, um, the Ovatrol actually sounds thicker, if that makes any sense to anybody at all. Um, so let's see, we are going to do, there's five. Well, that goes really fast. All right, I need to take some out and start over. All right, that's eight right there. So there's eight for the Ovatrol, and I'm gonna tear it. Then we're gonna do two grams of paint to my eight grams of Ovitra. So there's Thalo Blue. We're gonna tear. This is more the consistency of PVA Blue. Um, definitely a lot thicker than uh, Flood Floatrol, which I can see right off the bat. Um, it was very interesting. And I really want to put this in a squeeze bottle. Let me go with it. There's six, so just a little more. Seven, eight. And I'm not being totally exact, like this one's 8.55. That one I think was 8.16. So we'll see how this goes. I'm shaking. Oh, I don't want that one. That one's Payne's Gray, but um, I don't want to use that one for this. Not because I don't like it, just because I wanted to try a, trans, a semi-transparent and an opaque. I should do zinc white because that one's actually transparent. Um, in fact, I think I will. I'm going to switch out my titanium white in the Vallejo for zinc white. So instead of using the um, titanium white, which is opaque, I am going to use the zinc white, which is transparent, um, which I think will probably give me a pretty cool effect when I mix these all together and do dirty, dirty cups. So we'll play that by ear. So let me make sure that this is very well shaken. And we're going to do two grams of phthalo green. And that's 2.01 grams of paint to 8.55 grams of um, Flotrol or Ovitrol. 
And just to try and keep these separate, I'm, I'm actually going to call this one Ovitrol, and this one's probably going to be called Floetrol. So that way that I can de decipher which ones are different. All right, so we'll go eight, roughly. Ooh, or 10. I'll save this because I'm probably going to mix some more paint up later. Same amount. Mm. 8.97. 8.56. So we'll use that. And then I'm going to shake up my zinc white. The reason I switched that out is because that way I can have one of each level of transparency. The phthalo green is uh, opaque. The phthalo blue is semi-transparent. And then the zinc white is transparent. So, let's see how this goes. Oh, I guess we'll go to 10 since I didn't tear. And 10.15, so a little less paint, a little more Floetrol. It's not an exact science. It doesn't have to be. So, um, all right, so the Ovitrol, are all mixed, or all weighed out and poured. Oh, this stuff is so expensive. Don't want to waste it. Got a little puddle going on over here, and I want to make sure that I can save it all and use it which is why I'm probably going to switch this over to um, either like a plastic, a soft plastic uh, container or a squeeze bottle so that I can get more exact measurements with it. So, all right, that's it for the Floetrol, or the Ovitrol. Now, let's do the Flood. Oops. Well, since that one has Ovitrol in it, let's keep that one out of this experiment, and then there. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick up the difference in sound, but there is definitely, you can definitely tell that the um, flood flow trawl is more liquid than the Ovitrol flow trawl, so which is a very interesting discovery because I know they're supposed to be the same product. Um, I just think flood puts more water in theirs or some kind of liquid. So brand new bottle of both. I don't know if that's going to pick up either, but definitely more fluid. I can tell right off the bat. So mystery is solved. Um, the thickness of the Ovitrol is actually more like a PVA, and the thickness of Flood Floetrol is, um, I don't know, more like water. Um, it's more watery. So, let's see how this goes. That's 1.05. So there's my flow trawl or flood flow trawl. And I'll do this the other way, which is normally how I do it. No, no, I won't. Um, this is, I poured this into this so it's more convenient to pour in. Um, still a little too much. 4.83, I'll go with it. It's supposed to be one to four. I'll just add a little more paint. All right, there's the phthalo blue. 
And last, we'll do the white. And that's exactly, well, not exactly, it's 4.17. To write on these. Let me turn that off and get that out of the way. Um, and find my Sharpie, hopefully. Um, and not this is a test, so I'm not really too worried about contamination. But uh, these have been dry for quite a while, so I don't have any concern with using them. Actually not a bad thickness. I don't have it completely integrated in there yet, but not bad. A little thin. I can see it as it drops off the end. So there's one. Mm -hmm. A little blue with the flood, flood flow draw. And I am going to let these sit. Um, I'm going to go take a shower and let these sit for about an hour. Uh, just since I was, I've been shaking them so much, um, I want all of the, or as much as the of the bubbles as I can get to um, rise to the surface and pop before I actually pour these. And since this is just a test, I am going to be pouring on ceramic tiles. brand is all completely incorporated. So now we'll do the Ovatrols. Oh yeah, definitely a difference. Um, I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. I don't know if the camera will pick it up and just using my cell phone for this um, to record it. Definitely a difference. Look at that. Quite a bit thicker. Like I said, the Ovitrol Floetrol is more like a PVA glue. So let's mix up the Phthalo Blue. I'm also going to look at the um, back of the Ovatrol. I haven't looked into it. Um, look at that. So big, big difference. Like I would consider adding water to this. So um, mystery for me is completely solved. I hope this helps at least one person out there. Um, Ovatrol is definitely the way to go with Vallejo paints. Um, Ovatrol seems to come off the stick like PVA glue does too, which is very interesting. And then the black, or the white. My furnace just kicked on. I apologize if you can hear the noise. Um, it got really chilly today, and it's supposed to, I think it's 40 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Um, 
and just a few days ago it was in the 70s, so, yeah, a lot, a big, big difference. I don't know, at this point, I may have to add a little water to the Ovatrol just to get it to a pouring consistency because right now it is not. Uh, but I am going to let these sit, which actually, in theory, will probably um, thicken up a little bit because the pigment's going to absorb some of the water um, in the, the Ovatrol and Floetrol. So um, I'm going to let these sit for an hour, go shower, and then I'll come back and do a pour with each of these. Okay, so I'm getting ready for the pour. And in order to make this fair, I redid, well, I didn't redo it, I added to it. Um, this part right here, these three are with the Flood fo Floetrol, and um, I made them completely equal to this one, um, which is the Ovatrol. So they are all eight grams of Floetrol, either Ovatrol or Flood, and two grams of paint. The paints that I used are, again, Phthalo Blue, which is semi-transparent, Phthalo Green, which is opaque, and Zinc White, which is transparent. So those are the three Vallejo colors that I used. And I'm just gonna do a dirty flip cup, but I'm going to stir these and see how we're doing here as far as um, viscosity or thickness of the paints. That one is very thin. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, I am going to add some uh, drop of treadmill silicone to each one of these. Actually, not each one, just the blue and the green. And we'll get a different one for the white. There really is white paint in there. It just happens to look like Floetrol. All right, so there's the flood. Now I'm going to stir the Ovatrol. And I really think I'm going to have to add a little bit of water to these. Um, they are thicker than what I'm used to pouring with um, because I, I grown accustomed to working with the flow trowel or the flood flow trowel. Um, these are just a little too thick for my comfort. So I won't be adding much, just a tiny, tiny bit. Like probably less than a milliliter. So let's do that. This is my distilled water. Um, it's, it's rubbed off, but I know what it is. So I'm just going to add four drops. To each one of those. It's not going to take much. It's really, really close. So we'll see what this does. Yep. Mm. Still a little thick. Let's add two drops. Or whatever that was. Mm -hmm. I'll 
come back to that. I don't know if it's quite where I want it to be yet. Grab a couple more of these sticks, pardon my shoulder. Roughly four more drops. That's better. Still pretty. Might be the air bubbles in there too. That one good. <clears throat> Let's see. And the reason I'm doing each of these colors separately instead of blindly just adding the same amount across the board is because they're all different densities. Um, I could use a little more water yet, too. So each one is going to be individual. So there's four more drops. trying to keep it as close to what Anne Marie does as possible. Um, so I don't want to add too much water because she doesn't have to add any at all when she uses the Ovitrol. So this one's, that one's pretty good. Better. And then I'll stir these guys again. Um, these guys are pretty thin, like very thin. Let's see, I don't know if you can see that. So that one's okay. So I, no water added to the flow trial ones or to the flood fro flow trial ones. Is this the flood flow trial? And two more. And this is the Ovatrol flow trial. I'm going to try it with one of the colors um, because. There is, um, you can kind of see that with the Ovatrol, it leaves like a, a small puddle before it um, goes into the rest of the paint, blends in with the rest of the paint. And that's actually what you want. So we'll see. Um, We'll see what happens here. I'm very interested to see what's gonna happen. So I'm just gonna move my paints out of the way real quick. And there. All right, the flood is going to be on this one, Ovatrol on this one. The silicone I'm using is treadmill silicone. Um, from, uh, ordered this from Amazon and I am using a, is this a five, three, a three mil 
um, pipette. That's what I use uh, for all of my silicones. So there's one in the blue and one in the green of both the flood and uh, the Ovatrol. So that is that. Let's give those a quick stir. with that well I don't know about happy I'm, I'm okay with that it's still a little thicker than I would normally pour with um, but I'm interested to see what's going to happen with it um, having watched most of Anne Marie um, Ritterhoff's videos um, she doesn't really ever have a problem with the Ovatrol, so um, I'm hoping that the pouring will go well tonight. Alright, so, Flood Ovatrol. I'm going to start with the Thalo Blue. And I'm going to put the phthalo green in. And then I'm going to pour the white up high. Hopefully to mix those all in. Okay. So that one's mixed. And then... white from up high. There is the flood. And there is the Ovatrol. Give them a second to do whatever they're going to do in there. Ooh. Okay, this was the flood. I really like working with that zinc white. It um, seems to add a little bit of extra pizzazz because it doesn't, um, because it's transparent, it mixes with the different thicknesses of, um, or the different layers of whatever other colors that you're using, and I just absolutely love it. It adds some extra pizzazz in there. All right, so there's the flood, kind of liking that one. That's what I'm used to. So, see how it's zigzaggy? That's what I don't like. That's what most people don't like. All right, so I'm going to scoot the flood one back. Can you still see it? Oh, no. there. I'm going to bring the Ovatrol one to the front. And definitely thicker, which I expected. Not much activity happening here yet. I'm not really worried since this is a, um, I guess, habits. Um, this is just a test. 
I'm not really worried about getting corners and stuff. It's actually easier to take the skins off of the tiles if there's um, uh, bare corners, or at least a bare corner. So I definitely see that um, it's easier to move the paint. It doesn't move as fast on with Ovatrol as it does with Flood. Um, as you can see, you can clearly see the difference. Let's scoot you over just a little bit. There we go. So this is Ovatrol. Cells very um, defined. Um, and then this is the Flood. Not very defined, kind of zigzaggy, which is actually what I expected. Um, so we'll torch here and see what happens with that. I don't know if I have fuel in my torch. I do. So. There were a lot of bubbles in here too, some air bubbles. So I'll just see if I can get some of those out. Not that I'm too awfully concerned. But I also want to bring that silicone up too. So I now understand why when using Ovatrol that Anne-Marie does not have the zigzaggy issues or rarely. Um, and this is usually what I get when I pour with Vallejo and Flood Floatrol. Um, it's very frustrating because it's just not thick enough. This I even had to add a, a little bit of water to. So um, all in all, very impressed. Overall impression, yes, in my opinion, for me and my purposes, um, I probably will um, buy the Ovatrol um, at the higher price. Don't get me wrong, I will still use Flood. Um, when I use my, my other paints like Artist Loft and um, Liquitex Basics and even Golden, I'll, I'll use as long as they aren't the fluid acrylics. Um, if they're soft bodied or Artist Acrylics, I most definitely will use Floetrol. Um, but I, and I will save my Ovatrol to use specifically with um, the Flood Floetrol, or the, I will specifically use the Ovatrol with the Vallejo uh, fluid acrylics, possibly the um, golden high flow acrylics, but I don't have many of those, just a couple. Um, but I see Anne Marie like cells, and that excites me so much that to me, spending the extra money is worth it, um, given that I have already invested a lot of money um, and interest and in research in the Vallejo acrylic paints, fluid acrylic paints. Um, so that's it. I am satisfied. My curiosity is completely at ease. Um, definitely a difference in thickness between um, uh, Ovatrol and Flood. Um, so for anyone working with Vallejo Fluid Acrylics and only has access to Flood Floatrol, um, and this is what you get, we now understand why or at least I do. Uh, I hope this helped you in understanding the difference between Flood, Flood Floetrol, and Ovatrol Floetrol. Um, I'll bring them back out. This is the Ovatrol Easy Flow Waterborne Paint Conditioner. This is Floetrol. That's the Ovatrol brand. And then this is the Flood brand. Uh, just by shaking them, I could tell that there was a difference in the viscosities. I will that is it for that. Um, I hope that was helpful. And until next time, keep playing in the paint.